I've got another example here of pasting into a selection and with this one um, I my daughter took this picture of our dog and it looks kind of funny and it is a little out of focus but I told her that I'd try to fix it up for her and one of the things that I thought would be fun is would be to paste something a reflection into the sunglasses something other than what is already there so um, looking around on my other images I um, came across this one of some clouds and I thought this would be great to paste into. So one thing that I've done here is I've gone ahead and I've made the selection beforehand to save time because I knew this would be a little more advanced of a selection. Um, I used uh, the quick selection tool in combination with the lasso tool um, uh, and a couple of the different lasso tools to make the selection and I saved it as sunglasses so I can just quickly um, load the selection here to make it active um, and there it is. So I refined this selection and um, got it the best that, that I could um, and again it took me quite a bit of time so I thought I'd better save this um, to save some time in this demonstration. But again, you want to do your best making the selection the best you can. Now with this one um, and the clouds, I actually want the clouds to be a bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and check the image size here. Um, image size is 9 by almost 7 Im inches. And let's check this one. Let's see. I'd like to make the clouds smaller so it will fit easier into the glasses and um, I, rather than making just a selection I'm just going to go ahead and make the image size smaller. Now of course I'm not going to save the changes that I do here and I'm not going to resample um, but if I make this like much smaller well maybe not that small um, so it will better fit in with the proportions. I don't have to save this, um, but again, it will just be easier to paste into. So I can go ahead and make my selection and copy and go back over here into the sunglasses. And again, instead of just a paste, I want to paste special and paste into, and then the clouds will fall inside there. So a couple of things I, I did that I want you to notice. Um, I did not refine the selection very much. And you can see the hard edge of my selection now because we have um, a good contrasting element in here, um, which is are the clouds um, in the frames here of the sunglasses. So rather than doing it like this, I'm actually going to do this one more time. and. Um, instead of merely pasting into, I'm going to throw that away, I'm going to load my selection again and I'm going to refine my selection by feathering the selection. And I think here you'll notice um, a big difference. So with the selection active, I'm going to go up to select, modify, and choose feather. Now what feather is going to do is it's going to um, help with that transition. So it's going to spread um, the and, and kind of add a transition of five pixels in there. So I'm not going to get those, or, or hopefully not going to get those hard edges. So here, um, again, I've got my selection copied. And here, I'll now, with my selection modified, I'll do the paste into. And I've got a much better a much better result. Um, and here um, I can reposition. Let me choose the move tool. I can move the clouds around so I get a good position. It's still rather big, um, not super big, but I can um, go ahead and transform this some more and until I get a good look that I like. And with this also, I can choose a blend mode. Um, I kind of want to get rid of that, um, of that reflection almost altogether. 
um, and maybe just lower the opacity just a little tiny bit so I get a little bit of the glasses in there um, and I think that will do it so um, the first one I did um, it was a really relative like like I said relatively easy selection to make this one was a little more challenging so um, uh, depending on your skill level I would practice doing this because it's a great skill to have and it's a great skill to be really good at so practice for the skills practice and then keep practicing um, these techniques so you can really perfect them.